I might want to put on my jacket. I mean, not jacket, my sweater. It is a bit chilly out. Though if I stick it out, my body temperature might just help out. Might just help out. Sun's behind the clouds. Unleash more chills. Just gotta stick it out. Cat. It's a kitty cat. into the country. Ah, I'm gonna go try out some new roads. Some places I haven't been to. Hope the wind isn't gonna be too fierce, especially coming back. I'm gonna be going straight for a little while, past the school, against the headwind. This is gonna be something. Should be warmed up at the time I make it. Man, it got dim. Thought I was gonna at least have some sunlight. Huh. Thank you. 
Uh, I haven't been down here in like five months. Been a while. I think I continue going straight. River Road. I'm looking for a road that had the name East in it. Big thing is I'm checking to see how the traffic is. Like if I ever wanted to take my rides on those roads, I want it to be at the least, you know, not dangerous. Not too filled with traffic. Now, if I ever see a Washington Avenue coming up, that road I'm not taking. Too fast, too packed. So if anything, I'm looking for less packed, perhaps a bit of a shoulder on the road. We'll see, I'm just uh, adventuring out here. No cars coming. I filled up my water bottle as well as my backup water bottle. So I have two water bottles if I need them. Let's see where this is gonna go. big thing compared to last time I was here. I actually have lights this time, or at least my back cycle light. Blinking and letting people know I'm here. So it's definitely a lot more fun knowing they're gonna give me some big arcs. This next road, if I was to go left, it should take me right to Mislin Park. You know, that big water tower place. I showed it off once in a vlog. Doubt it's on this channel, or maybe I did, I don't know. So at least I know where I'm gonna go when I get back, or else I turn down this street again. I think this road's like Murf Murphy or something, Murray. I don't know, I know where I'm at. It rained last night, so there are lots of puddles. <sighs> ah, a bit of a warmth's coming out. The sun is indeed showing again. Or at least now I can finally feel it on my back. Or shoulders, anyway. Mellow. Huh. I'll have to Google Maps where that road goes.
if anything, when I uh, go out into the country like I do, I'm getting a little bit way, far away from home as well as town. So I like to inch further and further into these rides as I go. You know, like once I'm used to going to one part, I'll turn a corner and go much further in. Get myself feeling like I can do it, you know. Because the worst thing ever is when you begin to feel like panic. Like when you're so far out and you feel like you don't have any one you could turn to. I keep a phone with me, but you know, keep it with me just in case. It's important just to go at your own pace when you're going out into these places. Always keep the necessary tools as well. Let's see what this next street is. Oh, yeah, if you guys have any questions you want me to talk about on the on the videos, you can ask me just to say you want to have it in the video and I may do that. Could be kind of cool. Sure you can see my my shadow over there on the right I'm always looking whenever I hear someone or usually every 10 seconds or so I kind of look around generally I I know if they're going to hit me so no real worries because they usually wouldn't get so close anyway it's best to have your lights on it helps a lot What would I give to bring a map with me? All oh, the country. I wonder what they're going here. All oh, looks dead. Oh jeez. Here, I'll give you a look at this. Fire. Fire. I wonder what like the burn days are like out here. I know what they're like if where my grandma is. I don't know you could actually burn things in ripping. Especially on the country. Yeah, well. Pretty cool. <sighs> I may have passed the street I wanted to go to. Maybe it was on a different name. If I want a U-turn, at least I'll be going with the wind.
Now, is this car going to wait behind me or is he going to... Okay, good. It's not going to squeeze through. Looky here. I remember this place. What is this, the Ripon Fire District? For out here? Yeah. Ripon Fire District Station 2. Pretty cool. An official tour of everything. This way into the country. Let's go take a look around. Life's about the journey. We'll see what we find along the way. Pretty cool. Let's keep going. Let's see what roads all the way at the end of here. Either way, it looks fast. Probably not something I want to deal with. I know the location I wanted to see if I could make it to was Del Rio, which is a town, probably someone on my right, way out there. It's sort of the route some people would take, at least before the bike bridge happened, before that bridge that takes me into Salida. Before that was there, I don't remember when that was, but before it was there, people would either have to take the freeway, which they couldn't legally, on bikes, or they would have to go directly around Del Rio, and they'd probably go down this street to make it into Ripon. That was for bikes. I wanted to see if I could kind of make my way around Del Rio, but I don't want to be going down a super fast street that doesn't look too safe if I don't have to. That's the game. Let's see what this guy will do. Is he going to wait for these cars? Or... Yeah, he's slowing down. Good. These guys are doing great. They've been slowing down and giving me wide arcs. Let's see what road this is. I may have gone all the way to Washington or whatever that street is. Last time I rode it, it was fast and definitely not safe. If that is this street, I'm turning back. But even so, I think I've definitely gone over the street I wanted to take. Let's see which one this is. Then I'll probably turn back. What does that green sign say on? Sort of 10 o'clock, I guess. Cross traffic does not stop. HWY. Yeah. Sure, there's room, but it's definitely not something I want to take. We're going back. Yep. That road was the road I took when I was kind of testing this place out. I wanted to make another path into Rip and, you know, spice things up a bit, but I ended up going on that road. It was definitely too fast. So many trucks going like 50 miles an hour or so. Whatever country roads are usually, it was fast. Definitely not something safe. So I'm turning back. Best thing about this is I'm going pretty much with the wind a little bit anyway. I still have a bit of a forward wind. It might be just blowing me on the side. But somewhat, I'm, I'm not as affected by the wind, which I'm happy about. Water break. A new ride, guys. We're going into the country. Oh.
thing is I have no real destination out here than just to, to angle about 20 miles around back to home. You know, make some interesting rides. So if I want to turn back, no reason not to. Don't have to be anywhere. Though, of course, if I really wanted to go 20 miles, I might as well just buy a car. Unless I wanted to bike all that way. Either way, just go like 5 miles, go 10 miles, go 15. Get yourself ready to deal with that sort of thing so you don't panic. Probably keep food with you. I don't keep food with me. Because I never really like to take breaks. That's when the anxiety seeps in. You don't feel like you need to, you feel like you kind of need to be somewhere. I don't know. Just get yourself used to it. That's kind of what I, oh geez. That was a, that was a rat that, geez. Coagulated blood. Oh. I thought it was Bigfoot's hand or something. It was gross. When did I step into fallout? Ah, back we go. Look at those gorgeous clouds. What am I gonna title this? Country ride? I've been trying to think of making my titles a little bit more interesting. Like, uh, I think two videos back. Why do I start doing YouTube videos or something like that? People would want to know that. Or perhaps the title would be interesting. Like there's something you can know, something you can gain, some knowledge. Oh. Curious, be curious. I'll think of something. Since I don't usually carry around topics, I gotta make the titles interesting with what I have. Gotta get creative. Apple. Jeez. I have no idea who they are, so why are they honking me? Just to scare me? And to that, I give you a middle finger. <laughs> I don't like when people honk at me for no reason. Or at the very least, just to friend me. I've definitely heard of that before. It's nothing to get angry about, they're just messing around. Being a bunch of... Either way, just carry on. What's going on here? Let's see. Huh. Everybody getting antsy today. Everybody's just gotta chill. Just gotta chill.